Hey Harvester fans, Jeff here at IH Parts America and today we want to talk about the cooling system on your IH Scout truck or travel all with a 304, 345 or 392 engine, 266 as well for you guys with the little small guys. So on these cooling systems the water comes out of the radiator into the water pump here and will circulate through these water tubes going through the heads and block coming up through the intake manifold to this thermostat housing and coolant once the thermostat is open will come out of this hole here. Now these are a full bypass system so what that means is when the thermostat is closed the coolant is bypassing through this hose back into the engine and, and continues until it warms up enough the thermostat will open and allow the coolant to come out thus closing the bypass off. Now most guys when they go and call for a new thermostat at your auto parts store you're going to get this guy here that on the back just looks like this your plain and simple thermostat. Well here's your housing here and as you can see this is the bypass hole and when this thermostat opens it doesn't shut that bypass hole off. This is the proper Robert Shaw thermostat and on the back side here the sleeve will open up closing that bypass off allowing the coolant to fully come out as opposed to bypassing. So you're getting full cooling through the radiator, not just some of the coolant through the radiator. Now, a lot of times when you're servicing these, you want to pay attention to this little bleed hole on the back. A lot of guys will ignore to take this whole thermostat housing off and clean it. When you refill your coolant, if this little bleed hole is plugged up, it's going to cause an air pocket in the engine and it's not going to be able to get all the air out to get all the coolant in. The reason why we always recommend two gaskets when you do this and not one like typical, well you can see you're going to want to put a gasket on each side of this bad boy when you're replacing it. Last but not least, if your cooling system is pretty crudded up, for years we've used this RMI 25. It's real good at cleaning up the systems, but it's also good at finding the weak links in your engine. So if your freeze plugs are rotten out, head gaskets are weak, uh, this could cause you problems, but sometimes it's inevitable if you have a cooling system issue and the motor's crudded up, you've got no other choice but to try to help clean it out. So I uh, just wanted to go over these things. We get questions all the time, whether it's on our forums or on the phone, and uh, we thought we could best answer them by just giving you a quick little video. So if you like what you see, please like our page as well as subscribe, and hopefully we'll have some more of these tech videos for you in the near future. Thanks and have a great day.